Oh my god. There are some streamers out there that do some cursed content. There are some streamers out there that do some cursed content. Ferret! How's it going? How you doing tonight? But, we, but today we're gonna do some mildly cursed content. Put on my, gen my gentle BG. For elegant... Like evil? It looks radioactive? It's, it's a radioactive... It's a radioactive slurry. We have created and we have created a monstrosity of food. There we go. Hey, it worked the first time. Unbelievable. Wow, cool. I did it. Okay. So earlier today, I went to McDonald's or went to Taco Bell. Because we are also doing Taco Bell. So I asked her if it was okay for me to video her. Uh, because I said I was going to do this. So listen, this is a video. We're going to try to make pie with the Baja Blast. Because we saw it on the internet. Do you think it's possible? To make pie with it? Yeah. Are you going to reduce it down to a syrup? Yeah, like a syrup. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try it. It's happening. She was nice. She was nice. And then the, I, the, she had, and then we like, I like talked to her, um, like her other manager. Wait, can I go to the next, can I go to the next video? Sorry. She's not used to video. Seriously, I'm really serious. Oh, yeah. Tell her to stop. But she was kidding. She was like joking. She wasn't, she wasn't serious. She's like, no, tell her to stop. Like, turn back. Don't actually bake pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I showed the picture earlier. This picture. I got these two Taco Bells back. I got this back from Taco Bell. Notice that there's real limes involved because I don't know if this is going to be like flavorful, but we're going to see. And then wait, there's more video because I taped, I filmed the process of like reducing the sauce. So that's not, I, there's actually, here's, here we are pouring, here I'm pouring. I feel like I should have asked for no ice, but, uh, anyway, <laughs> let's just, uh, uh, or, uh, uh. I scooped the ice out with the slotted spoon. <laughs> I scooped the ice out. <laughs> yeah. She was like, don't do it. <laughs> Need more Baja Blast? No, it's two whole cups of Baja Blast. It wasn't just one. It was two whole cups. Yeah, I... This thing is turning into some witch's cauldron. And it bo I boiled it all day. Look at the smoke coming off of this. It... It's like Halloween pie. <laughs> that was earlier today. Because I boiled it all day on this stuff. <laughs> I went to Taco Bell for lunch and it's been boiling on the stove all day. Oh, uh, wait. And then it starts to reduce. You can see it change in color. <laughs> this is dumb as hell. <laughs> I tasted it. Well, it's boiling. You know, it's kind of all right, though. <laughs> it was fine for a few hours. Um, and then after a while, I would say it started to smell like a little more burned smelling like it was caramelizing a little bit because it boiled uh for yeah so yeah if the foam come the foam coming off of it was like because it was boiling out the carbonation off first so it kind of like steamed and smoked in funny ways um and all right all right here we go here we go guys <laughs> you ready are you ready and i still think this is dumb as hell This is what it turned into. <laughs> That's two large Baja Blasts reduced to a cup of liquid. <laughs> Look at the color! Look at the color! I promise you, if it looks like color on camera, 
it's more color in person. It was like window cleaner. I know. Like, okay, guys, I am going to drink. I, I have been dared to eat shit on the stream before, I, but I'm going to drink this right now. It's, yeah, it's reduced down to a cup. Um, honestly, it's like pure sugar. <laughs> it's a little bit sour. I'm not going to lie. Oh. So I thought to myself, oh. <clears throat> that's very powerful. So I thought to myself, how am I going to make this into a pie filling? Now that I've got this concoction, this, this ooze, how am I going to make this into a pie filling? Um, and okay, so many, many, many years ago, I found this old cookbook and I took some pictures from the old cookbook. And this is the pieces of the old cookbook, the old cookbook. It's a very old cookbook. Um, and it had a uh, parfait. That's the shit that made the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh no, I hope not. I'm gonna turn into a mutant fighter woman. It is the ooze. Yeah, it's definitely the color. Although in the cartoon, the ooze was pink. It's only green in the movie. Anyway. I had this recipes for pies. Um, and I thought, well, I'll make a parfait style pie. Ew, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, specifically that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. You know what? I didn't throw up. I'm good. Although I think I just ate, like, I think I already consumed more sugar than I probably should have consumed. Um, I had this, but I looked at this and I was like, okay, this has lime juice, which is this a replacement for the lime juice. And then gelatin, lime gelatin, which probably would work. But I feel like if I did a gelatin based pie, we would not know what it looked like because I'd have to leave it in the fridge overnight. And I want it like something that will actually be able to taste test on stream. Um, also, this is a weird this is these are really old fashioned, uh, but in like a 1970s kind of way. So they have like a van quart of vanilla ice cream just mixed into the pie, which I have done a very similar pie to this. And you just use like sweetened whipped cream. Um, so I thought, well, what if I did it like a key lime pie? Because a key lime pie is usually pretty easy to throw together. It does get baked, which means that it'll come out of the oven solid. We have to bake it, but it won't be long bake. They're pretty quick to bake. And it should have a nice lime flavor. I'm just going to replace most of the lime juice with the Baja instead of lime juice. And we're going to see if this makes a key lime pie that is like a Baja Blast key lime pie. It does have egg in it, so not vegan. That'll have last. Um, but if I used the, if I made the strawberry pie, pie, it would still be a gelatin. So either way. Uh, and in order to do this, I have to separate three eggs. So I do need to like wash my hands again because I'm not a disgusting. Well, I'm a little bit disgusting, but I'm not that disgusting. So I will go wash my hands, um, and then I will get the oven preheated, and. Let me just, oh, I forgot to show you the other pictures. So here's the Taco Bell Baja Blast that I have, right? There's no part of this that was dietary code that was written anywhere in the Bible. Oh, for sure. Uh, and then I also got some pictures showing what it's supposed to look like when it's done. I because I went on the internet, because the whole reason I'm doing this is because this is a real thing that Taco Bell is going to serve at some point in the future. Uh, so this image right here, uh, did that work? Oh, it's probably, it's probably too small. There. So that's what it's supposed to look like when it's completed. It's supposed to look like that. And I noticed that, um, in the official images, uh, it's got like a little bit of, um, lime zest on the whipped cream. These are all things people took from the official Baja Blast pie. But here's two things I noticed about the official Baja Blast pie. A little bit of lime zest on top of the whipped cream. So I've got limes here. I'm going to put some lime zest on it. This looks like a pre-made graham cracker crust to me. Like, it's not a fancy graham cracker crust. So I bought the graham cracker crust pre-made. Normally, I would make my own because I'm a fancy bitch. But I feel like this is like just an industrial graham cracker crust. Right. The cream is melting. Yeah, listen, this is not 
like this picture is not like an official Taco Bell promo picture as far as I know. I got this off Reddit. I think it's just somebody's like, oh, you're stuck in ad hell? No, give it a second. I'm not going to start cooking until you get out of ad hell. You're like, a, you're like, a, and that looks cursed. Yeah. I'll wait till you're out of ad hell before I do any more. Uh, three, two, one, done. Okay, so the reason I run two minutes of ads, two minutes, 30 seconds of ads is because I hate the pre-reel because I don't want people to jump into my stream and see pre-reel. So it does suck to have to suck up those ads. I have said multiple times that I would pay Twitch to not have ads on my own stream because I don't care. Um, but eh, it just is what it is. So that's the reason I run so many. So thank you for your patience on letting them go by. But I wasn't doing anything important until they were over. Um... So yeah, I was saying they have they have this whipped cream. I this is not an official Taco Bell promo image, okay? So if it looks like it's like sus, mm. uh, if it looks sus, it's because uh, it's just somebody's random picture that I found on Reddit and they photoshopped the rest of the shit on it. I don't I don't know what. So <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it does look kind of it does look kind of nasty. I've realized that it's not an official promo image. It's literally just like some Reddit thing. They're gonna be showing. They're gonna be having Taco Bell. They're gonna have Baja Blast pie and Baja Blast ice cream gelato. Whatever. This is the new thing they're gonna do. Right. So what I was saying about this was, I. If I'm wondering, right. um, I would fuck that gelato up. Yeah, it looks good, right? Like I could make this too, because it's just it's easy to make ice cream at home with condensed milk and stuff. Well, I miss tropical gelato probably works pretty well. Yeah, yeah, it probably works pretty well. I don't know about the pie, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm looking over my shoulder for something. I'm looking. My desk is a mess because I've also got some bottled crap all over. Oh, we call it water ice out here. Which is kind of redundant because ice is made from water, but whatever. I didn't invent it. Water ice. Oh, I was looking for the pie crust. The pie crust is on the other side of my desk. It's way over here. So, I bought a pre-made graham cracker ready crust. I'm going to peel the label off of it. Looks like that. We made graham cracker ready crust because I figure that is what it basically is in the pie. So why not just use what it obviously probably is? Now I'm done. Talk to them. Videos. We'll go back to the music. And I'm going to wash my hands because I'm about to separate three eggs. And I don't want to do that with nasty hands. The egg is covered in McDonald's sauce. I'll be right back to do that. And also, I have to preheat the oven. And then we're going to bake. We're going to bake this. This is going to go in the oven. I have no idea what this is going to be like. And that is the beauty of baking it live. <laughs> All right, so I've got this bowl. Oh, my God. I almost knocked over the... What if I had knocked this over? If I had knocked over the Baja, could you imagine the mess? It would have knocked right on Crony. Crony would have been Baja bl bust blasted. She would have been much shorter. I would have been like, oops, well, can't do it. I'll make a regular key lime. It'd be Jover. <laughs> I'll make a regular key lime if I can't. No, we've still got the juice, the sauce, the mighty, mighty sauce. This stuff is so green. I'm a little concerned that it won't, the color won't stay and it won't stay as green after I bake it. But I do have food coloring. I don't know. We're just going to see Crony infested with ants. Yeah, poor Crony. She doesn't need that kind of shit in her life. I'm going to take her off the desk, actually, so she doesn't get shit splotched on her while I'm separating eggs. Okay, quick BRB while I wash my hands, though, for real. Stop knocking the bowl. Oh my god. My clumsiness is going to be the end of me.
Preheating the oven. I am back at my desk. Oven is preheating. There are clean hands now. And I am going to put three egg yolks, only yolks, in this filling. So here we go. Got my eggs over here. Now for the eggs. Um, and I have a small plastic bowl to put the weights in. Accidentally have weight, although it doesn't really matter, but the recipe is yolks only. So we're gonna learn about hell divers. Nice thing about something that asks for yolks though, is if it doesn't separate super cleanly and it breaks, it doesn't matter because you're not trying to preserve the weight for like yolks. These are cute little eggs. They got stamp on them. They're not farm. They're not farm eggs though. I'll not go to the farm this week. Poke out here. I no longer have headphones. Let me know if you can. Of course, if you can't hear me, then you won't you won't know that I asked you to tell me that. Things have really solid shell. Not separating. I don't need the one. I mean, I'll probably just eat the one. Your eggs in the fridge? We do. Yeah, eggs are refrigerated over here. We are in the states where the eggs go in the fridge. Some people also fridge the butter, but not us. Like if butter, you're gonna take it out. I think it's because the eggs here aren't they're not shelf stable. Yeah, because they don't they don't make them shelf stable. But my okay, that's three eggs, and then we're gonna put in a can of sweet milk, which I happen to have here. I'm gonna open that up. They're washed, yeah, they wash them. Which I guess if you don't wash them, like if I went to the market, um, we have an Amish market. That's, that's where we're We could theoretically get eggs that, because they have like raw milk and raw goat milk and all kinds of stuff there. Theoretically, we could get shelf stable eggs, but these ones are definitely not. These are regular grocery store. Not shelf stable. We're gonna do add this can of sweetened milk, which yes is sweetened. I also got um I also got some whipped some heavy cream in case this is too sweet. So I might mix and match heavy cream if there's not enough filling. This stuff is the, the key to making an easy key lime pie. Um, it's also great for homemade ice cream. If you mix some of this with heavy cream, uh, it, it comes out really, really nice. And it makes like a, like a really easy homemade ice cream. You eat it right out of the can. That's cool. You can do that too. I don't eat it right out of the can. Respect your choices. It is tasty though. This guy's one figure. Yeah, I know. I have the whole set. I have Darkwing. I have all the villains. I have Launchpad. Punker, that was the fourth one from the Good Guy set. I have all of them. I have, I have the vehicles, too, but they're kind of in bad shape. I also have a larger Darkwing. I have a lot of Darkwings. Um, I like Darkwing a lot. Like one of my favorite childhood memory shows. I am going to put, I'm going to have to go get the cream. I'm going to go put a little bit of cream in to balance out what the is going to be. Sentence commonly said by people eating their fifth, never said I eat it out of the can. Oh, you said you never eat it out of the can. Sorry, I thought you said I read that wrong. My apologies. Definitely don't eat it directly out of the can. <sighs> I almost just put the can in the egg. That would have been a mess. I'm going to do something that 
I, I went back and forth on should I do this or not, but I'm going to put a little bit of real lime. Oh, 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 did I like the dark wing? I loved it. Yeah, I actually think I watched it on stream at one point because it's free on YouTube, but I'd be happy to uh, watch it again at some point. I'm going to put like some real lime zest in here because I think it'll add a little to the flavor and hopefully it won't be visible in the final result of the pie. The Darkwing episode is very, very good. I had a lot of feelings about it, although I do think they rushed through it really fast, which I didn't like. Like, I wish they had spent more time with those characters, but I get why it was like that, because everything is so fast now. Like, if you go back and watch those old cartoons, especially DuckTales, like, if you go back and watch OG DuckTales, the pacing is so different from new DuckTales because it's just so much faster paced. So I felt a little rushed to me. Like, I know they kind of, they actually told the same story as... They told the same story as Darkly Dawn Seduck from the first game, from the first game, from the first series, original series. But then they also had the Fearsome Five. It just looks like too much. They said they only had the four of them because they set up Negaduck and then didn't do anything with it. Oh my god, I just went on a Darkwing Duck rant. I'm so sorry. Except not really. That's what you come to lead the streams for, right? You asked. You asked, Jericho. <laughs> Um, and it kind of, it kind of bummed me out. It kind of bummed me out that they hinted at the lullaby, but didn't actually do it. Um, because I would have cried like a fucking baby. I don't, I don't, I probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But in the, in the new DuckTales series, they have a couple musics that are like nostalgia musics, right? So in the first one they did, they did the moon theme from the NES game which is crazy because it's like such a famous song associated with DuckTales, but it was in the game. So they played that song and they added lyrics to it. So she sings like, and it's really lovely. Um, and they, she sings the whole song, uh, which it never had lyrics before, but they added lyrics to it. So it was cool. And then when they do the DuckTales, when they do the Darkwing episode, there's actually a lullaby that's sung in the original episode of Darkly Dawn's the Duck, which is the origin episode, where they sing a lullaby. So, rest your head, little girl blue, inside of you by the rainbow. And if you listen to the backing track, they actually play a few notes from it on the DuckTales episode, but they don't actually sing it. And it's... And, I, and it made me sad as it is because I was like, oh, that's so sweet. They should have gone all the way. And I'll tell you why they should have gone all the way. Because the original voice actress um, for Goslin uh, passed away. Like a few years before they did the reboot episode. And when she did that, um, <laughs> um, Jim Cummings, who was the original voice for Darkwing, posted on Twitter, like, breast little girl blue. Because that was her song. So I cried then <laughs> and I would have cried again if they had done it in DuckTales, but I felt like they didn't go far enough. But that would have been for like a handful of people specifically. So, you know, but still, they still did it. So anyway, that was your depressing thing for today. Um, back to pie. <laughs> God, such a nerd. You know, we're not going to have Twitter anymore, and you'll never get to see, like, interactions like that, which is maybe a good thing in a lot of ways, because Twitter did a lot of bad stuff, but I don't know. It was a sweet little interaction, and it made me feel really sad. Um, so hopefully this won't, like, mess up the consistency of the filling too much. I'm going to save the rest of the slime to put as a garnish on the top, because in the actual thing in the Reddit post, there's actually a... Yeah, so there is an homage to it. So if you go back and watch the episode, which is still... It's free on YouTube, so in theory, we watch it again, because I, I do did watch along at one point, but it is free on YouTube to watch. If you go back and watch it, you can hear they play a couple notes of this song. And I went, oh my god, they did it! But then they didn't really do it. They did it a little bit. Because they knew, they knew I would, they knew me. They'd be like, Lita, we know this is important to you. 
Sorry. We can't do it. We can't waste too much time on it. We gotta go. We gotta go fast. We gotta fit three more villains in this episode. Never Before Time was near traumatizing as a kid, and I think movies for kids use it are missing that element. Mm, I agree. I was just thinking today about how there's no more Disney villains anymore. I know that's not like a new observation, but it's so true. Uh, I was, I have this, I have this book of Disney songs I've talked about before. I'm trying to learn some Disney songs on piano. And I was in the car and I put Spotify on. And I'm just going to like look up Disney on Spotify, listen to whatever songs pop up. And it's mostly the new it's mostly like nothing that old. I'm like, oh, okay, we don't talk about Bruno. Got it, got it. Everybody likes that one. Uh, okay, got the Moana in here. Moana's fine. That's cool. Uh, Frozen 2, I actually hate more with every passing day. I think I'm going to do an entire stream slash rant slash essay about how much I hate Frozen 2. I actually has it. Um, but like, Lion King came on, and I was like, oh, is this from the reboot? And I was listening for a second. I'm like, no, this slaps. This is the original. <laughs> and I looked at the thing and it's like Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, it's the original. And then, yeah, the new one, new, the new one can't. The new one gets not allowed. Girl who voice. God. That's. Diversity of film world of life lesson-y. Mm, I don't know. I think people just don't want to have problematic characters ever in any story because it's problematic and then. On Tumblr is going to be like, oh, somebody was bad and did a bad thing in the story. They were the bad guy, but I don't understand how nuance works. Oh, if you wonder why I turn myself off, it's because I'm going to reach over. Pile of printed out shit on my desk. What a mess. Plugging in the mixer. If I can find a empty plug. Plugs in your office. PlayStation will get really salty if I unplug it. It'll be like, you didn't plug, you didn't plug it in, right? Okay. I don't think the stories today feel more life lesson-y. I think the stories today feel more like intergenerational apologies for what your parents did. But isn't that what Encanto was? Encanto was like the fantasy of your mom apologizing for making life too hard on you. Sorry, we destroyed the world law. Yeah, that's all you're going to get. Oh, all right, here we go. I'm going to blend this up. some ASMR for you guys. How did you feel about that? I'm going to mute the mic. <laughs> then I do it again. <laughs> I'm sure that was blasting your eardrums out. So, yeah, I mean, I think I've heard a lot of things about Asian parents. I only had uh, white parents, so I've heard a lot of things about Asian parents. Kind of hear it through your deaf ear. God. There we go. We mute the mic. It's fine. I know where the mute button is. Oh, oh, I just, oh God, I just dripped. Okay, you know what? It, it's dripping into the, it's dripping into the Baja cream. Do you see it dripping into it from the, from the beater? That's so nasty. <laughs> That's so nasty. <laughs> is it boiling it? No, it's just... Alice called this Shrek cum. Is it Shrek cum? Is that what it looks like? Chemically destroying it? The Baja cream? Yeah, I don't say Baja cream. Uh, I am going to get some cream. I forgot to get cream out of the fridge. One second, I'm going to get some cream. Wait, this is, this is, this is how it is. Oh, did I forget?
stuff takes off rust. Oh, that's because the damn thing is that screwed up. Sorry, I was like on the screen for a second. Okay, that's just the BGM thing is in the media player, so of course. My scuffed BGM process. That's me. Okay, gamers. So I also got the big food coloring kit. In case, for some reason, when I do all this, the color is not noxious enough. I got the big food coloring kit. In case it doesn't look nuclear enough when I color it. We'll get there. We'll do it with our whatever's left over because I'm only going to pour a cup of this. Uh filling flavoring into the and we can add some fresh lime juice i think i'll just taste taste what i've got here and if i decide it's not limey enough i should probably get a knife to cut the limes because i need to put some lime in this bad boy i don't have a knife i'm gonna have to get up from the I'm currently removing the plastic top from my. Get a knife. Oh, this is actually, I don't want to throw the top away because the top is used for putting the pie in the fridge later. That's fun. I gotta clean up this garbage on my desk. There's like McDonald's garbage everywhere. Oh my god, okay, okay. Uh, one more getting up, and then I'm gonna do this. Do the, the really cool thing that I'm going to do. If for some reason there's not enough flavor in the Baja Blast, I will be... Someday I'm going to do like a real cooking stream setup. But I was going to take some work because I have to refurbish my old computer. Actually fit properly in the kitchen. Because I can still stream from it. It just is... The hard drive is full. Okay. Really hell of a problem to have. I'm gonna put a little bit of actual cream in this. Just to maybe like balance the condensed. Oh. I remember to mute this time, sorry. It was like for a second I forgot. All right, what is this? What does this mess taste like? <laughs> my finger in it. It's so gross. Sorry. Tastes like sweet milk, which is what it is. Okay, I'm wipe I'm I'm cleaning my fingers now. We're not gonna be okay. So this is the this is the PA stay resistance here. This is the stuff. I, oh my God, it's so gross because like the bits of condensed milk are like on the top of it now. It's so nasty. I'm going to just put like a cup of this um, gunk into the pie. All right. Pour gunk. We've done it. We've poured the gunk. It's sunk right to the bottom. Is that a good sign? It better turn green or else the whole point of this is ruined, but I do have food coloring in case it doesn't turn. All right, I'm going to whip it again. The 
The color is not like as nuclear as the stuff is. So I'm thinking I might be that food coloring. I'm gonna need some more gunk. Well, um, let's let's see what the flavor is like. Um, I don't want to just yeah. taste it. A little more green. Yeah, it's not. It's only like partially green. Hmm. Okay, you definitely get the lime flavor. Um, it's definitely sour like a key lime pie. It does need more green. It does not have the green look. And I think I might do one of lime. And maybe like up the lime flavor by like a little bit. Get more lime flavor. Because I think I would add a little something. Green and yellow and blue. Yeah. I think it needs more green and more blue. Sorry. To be really Baja Blasty flavored. Sorry, my avatar is going to be out while I do this because I'm coming. I also need to, like, I was telling a friend about your Snicker salad. Yeah, exactly. It's caramel chocolate apple salad. I think he was blown away by Snicker salad. This looks like it needs to, yeah, it needs to look like it scare about 50% of a 10 child group. Yeah, it needs to be really noxiously. I feel like if it's not noxiously green enough, I'm not really doing the assignment. But it was important to me to actually use Baja Blast, right? It was important to not just make it with lime juice and call it Baja Blast. It has to be real Baja Blast pie. Black food. See. Red in here, need blue. So this is a complicated food coloring. Bell food. Jamie Oliver, do you want to eat? Um. Yeah, I remember that. Was that the one where he was like, "Oh, look what's in the chicken nuggets! So disgusting!" And would you still eat this? And then all the kids were like, "Yep." Yeah. Okay, so now it's blue. Now I just made it blue. But it's but that's blue. But don't worry, we're gonna just add some yellow, and it's gonna balance it out. Oh, well, that was a lot of yellow. It's going to be green by the time it's done. All right, there we go. There we go. That's the color we need, right? That's the color. Now it's returning to Baja Blast. That's perfect. That's perfection. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. It passed Baja into regular dew. No, bro, no, 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 no. Look at the color of this stuff. It's the same color. It's the same. Look, same color. Same. This is the leftover Baja potion. It's the, it's the same picture. I, I, had the, I nailed the color exactly. The Too Faced juice? Could it be like that Baja sea from green? Yeah, it's, it's not. Right now, Mountain Dew is... This stuff is like blue. It's like blue colored. See from mixture lighten in color and thicken somewhat, and then I threw in a bunch of stuff. Uh, pour the mixture into the crust, return the pie to the oven. So the only thing that I don't know if this is going to work or not, and here's the here's the thing that I don't know is going to work. The reason, the way you do key lime, the acid in the lime is what helps it solidify. And I use Baja Blast instead, which doesn't have as much real lime juice. I did put a one real lime, but I'm curious to know if this is gonna thicken up the way a normal key lime pie would, or if I'm gonna have to throw some cornstarch or something. Oh, might not thicken. Oh. oh, or gelatin. But gelatin won't go in the oven. So this is gonna go in the oven. If it doesn't solidify, then We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be like wet and soggy because it's not very thick at all. Like you can see the texture of it is pretty runny. But there are eggs in this and there is condensed milk. So it will still turn into pie, but we'll see if it's like runny or if it's like solid. I don't know. We're gonna find out because it's gonna go in the oven now. Um that's a bake for 25 minutes. 
egg and condensed milk. Yeah, it's egg and condensed milk. The, the reason I'm just a little not sure is because, like I said, uh, one of the things in key lime pie is the acid from the lime. And this is not as acidic as like a regular. There's a lot, there's a lot more sugar in this, so a lot less acid. So let's see. I'm going to put it in the oven. Here we go. Again, I will be right back while I do that. What's everybody up to? What'd you guys do today? Anything good? Not that that would have mattered. It's just my OBS. It's just like you looking into the... It's like you looking into the... Yeah. So it's like they give you the stuff on the left. So you got like water and fire and you can push them together and that makes steam. So if you've got earth, you start out with earth, fire, wind, and water as you would, right? So you start out with water, fire, and earth. Combine all these things together and you can make stuff. So like I've got steam, smoke, and then I made a cloud. And if I combine a cloud with earth, I get rain. And if I combine it with water and more water, then I get a rainbow. That's easy enough. So I got rainbows. That's fine. I can combine the rainbows. But then you can first combine stuff in ways that gets a little off the rails. So I I made Sonic somehow. Do I have heart? No, I don't know if I have heart. Do I have heart? I do have heart. Okay. We need heart. It's big Captain Planet. Except you can't combine five things, so I couldn't actually make Captain Planet. Couldn't actually combine. I couldn't actually make Captain Planet. I was gonna combine a heart with mud. Oh, and I have to. Um, so you start to get to weird interactions with stuff. So I ended up making Doctor Who because I like combined time. I don't know. I, I ended up with Doctor Who, and then somehow from there I got the Pope um, and Santa. Combine the Pope and Santa, you get Christmas. I don't know. And if you combine a burrito and bacon, they don't combine. You can't make a bacon burrito. You just can't do that. I don't know why. Bad game on its own. But you can start to make some really, really weird stuff. Uh, what about a pork and a heart? Oh, you burrito Pope? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I don't have Doritos. Let's make Doritos. First, I have to start with a potato chip, right? Let's start with chips. How can we make Do we have nachos? I have nacho libre. Why do I have nacho libre? That's fine. What happens if I combine nacho libre with ketchup? There! There we go, perfect. Got Dorito. There we go. See, that's the beauty of infinite craft. Whatever you can make in your heart. Nacho fries and nacho fries. Yeah, baby, let's go. Whatever you can, whatever your heart desires. So we're gonna combine Doritos and the Pope. Back up Doritos. Doritos Pope, let's go. Popeye, what the fuck? Sometimes you don't get what you wanted. Very depressing. Popeye, oh, Popeye user. Pop yeah, that was a weird one. I don't understand that interaction at all. Popeye's is chick a chicken at Popeye's, but like, I don't know why you sometimes. Okay. Doritos and Pope should def Kylie. Yeah, that's. That's a fail, that's a miss. There's a couple where it was like exactly what I hoped for, and there was a couple where I was like, what? No! <laughs> and it's, I don't know how it chooses, it uses like LLM, I wanna say. But like, another good example of one where I was like, what? No! I've got like all kinds of Star Wars, I've got Darth Vader. And I've got Dracula. So if you combine them, you get Darthula. And if you combine them again, you get Darthula Vader. Oh, that's that's cool. Open video game? Wouldn't that be Undertale? Oh. Video game. I don't have video games, actually. I don't have video games yet, guys. I don't have games in general. How do I get video games? I literally- I have Twitch. I don't have video games. <laughs> Uh, Twitch, gambling. I have gambling. Slot squad, slot squad. Thrones. Like, 
I didn't I needed the game part out. No, I need to get the game part out. I got HBO. Find the Pope at HBO. That's anyway. It's Papas. Oh yeah, that's how you get the Pope. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I don't know how to. Oh, I have a lot of I have a lot of weird stuff. Do I have lunch meat? I have meat. I have meatloaf. I have meatloaf. Important type of meat in it. HBO was lunch meat. I don't know. What happens if you find HBO and meat? What happens if you can find HBO and crime? No, I definitely have crime because I was trying to make Pecora and it didn't work. I got the wire. If you find HBO and crime, you get the wire. Not so great. Meatloaf seems to be all consumed hours away. I got a lot of random crap in here, y'all. I went crazy. One of the things that gave me get that got me had so much more crime than the Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. It's all about complaining about crime. Now that makes sense. HBO plus cannoli. I don't think I have much Italian food. Do I have spaghetti? No, I don't even have spaghetti. Uh, noodles? I have noodles. I have sushi. Yeah, I have. I have. Uh, but I don't have. I have to figure out how to make. Like some of these were exactly what you would expect, right? Like, like this one, right? I was this. Oh, I got Wolverine. Happens when I combine Wolverine and comedy. That's exactly right, right? That's exactly what you would expect. <laughs> Wolverine plus comedy equals Deadpool. Got it. Like, that was like, uh-huh, correct. Yep, mm-hmm. But, like, some of these, I was like, yep, that's exactly what I expected. And then some of these, it's like, I was uh, not happy. So, like, I have Optimus Prime. And if you combine Optimus Prime with an ape or a monkey, you would expect to get what I didn't get. Swing and a miss. You were so close. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I expected, but you know, it's it, it close but wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong. Go back to go back to school. But I'm expecting my Deadpool with nachos. Okay, Deadpool. Oh, I got Fritos too. I combined potatoes again. I got Fritos. Now we have Frito. What happens if I combine Fritos with pie? Do I have pie? Can we, make, can we make Baja Blast? I have PewDiePie. Frito Pie. There we go. Made Frito Pie. <laughs> I don't think I have many sodas. I do have tacos. I do have Hitler as well. Uh, you know, it just happens. Eventually, yeah, Eddie, some complicated stuff is good. I have Elvis. I have, uh, <laughs> Superman and the Justice League. I created a bunch of Superman adjacent things. And a bunch of numbers, because if you just combine two numbers, then you get another number. Which is not a very good way of doing stuff, but hey, I got six done, so that's cool. I was hoping something would funny funny would happen if I got one three through seven, but... I didn't get it. I never... But you can just add numbers. I get Randy Savage. I got green. I don't know why green Tarzan. I guess Green Lantern plus Tarzan equals Tarzan. I don't know why they just random shit. And then I went through a whole Sailor Moon phase. How many Sailor Moon characters can I generate? I did all that. I, I got Pornhub. Pornhub plus Taco. Taco with the powers. Tacos plus Easter eggs. It's Taco Bell. There we go. We got Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell. We did it! <laughs> oh, what can I get from Taco Bell? Uh... Well plus. I'll get the... I'll get the... Back out of it. Oh, how do I even get so... How do I even get Mountain Dew? Okay, so, I mean, obviously... Water, right? Water is... No, 
not diarrhea! No! <laughs> not what I wanted. Look how Valerie gave me diarrhea! <laughs> So the thing I was afraid of was that it wasn't going to, like, solidify. And I don't think it really solidified. <laughs> like, it's still pretty runny. Like, it's very gooey in the middle. Um, uh, thank you for clipping it to Taco Bell. Uh, okay, I'm going to put the screen. I'm going to put the screen back on. Okay, I'm here. That is the stuff. That is the pie. If I move it, watch how much it moves. It's like pretty wet on the top. I bet if I stick a knife in it, it's gonna come out pretty wet. Yeah, it's pretty wet. It is, it is slightly firm on top, but not as firm as like a real king lime pie would be. Oh, thank God, Infinite Craft has dark mode. Yeah, it does. Infinite Craft does have a dark mode. So as you can see, like I can run the knife like across the top here on the top. It's semi set, but not enough. So my thought is I'm going to stick this in the fridge and see if it sets up overnight and I will let you know. I will trip report. But I am going to just taste it. Yeah, I might need a better thickener. Gelatin or setting? Is that it? I could try to blend gelatin directly. It's hot filling. How wet, how it's still very wet. And I could try to blend gelatin directly and throw it in the fridge. See if it solidifies. What do you think? But I'll have to see overnight if it actually... Look at the look thickness on that though that's so weird looking it's like paint like i said the ass well you jello pie yeah there's no jello in this the acid in key lime normally is what will help it solidify but there's not enough acid in the baja blah it's look i'm gonna taste the, what's on the knife right now okay look at the thickness though this will set up, but it's gonna take overnight. I think, in the fridge for it to set up. Cause it's thick. It's like paint. I regret to inform you it's delicious. Did you find this recipe? I'm totally making this up as I go. It's just key lime pie with Baja Blast instead of lime juice. But it didn't set up, so... I'm gonna try to stick it in the fridge overnight. Yeah, it comes. If it doesn't, it's just like a... a thick with... I may make some adjustments to the recipe. Then I'd have to go get more Baja Blast. I don't know if anybody wants that. I followed ancient instructions? No, I followed King Arthur's key lime pie instructions, except I used Baja Blast instead of lime. The ancient instructions were the ones from the book that has a uh, gelatin in it, and I did not put gelatin. I didn't think it was set up. But it's still not setting up even without gelatin, so it's like very, very wet still. But it's really thick. It's funnier to pick it up from top. But you're right, I could just buy it. I already made the Buddha. Yeah, you can make some quick and even grab. Supposedly, it's super easy to get Peter Griffin. I don't know if that's true. The first people that I got were like Doctor Who. It'll be ready by Tuesday's stream. If it doesn't set up overnight, I'm gonna melt it down, put gelatin in it, and then put it back in the fridge. Maybe I'll do that anyway. Maybe I'll put gelatin in it anyway. Kind of tasty though. It's kind of, it's kind of tasty. You still get the lime flavor, which I'm surprised by because there's only one lime in here. So the rest of it is coming from the Baja Blast, and the color. Yeah, beat that color. That's a real color that definitely food should be. Food should definitely be that color. It was gross. It's pretty tasty. 
I'm licking it off a knife, which is not the ideal way to consume, perhaps, but... I don't know. Do you guys think I should put, like, cornstarch in it and blend it up? Or do you think I should just try to put it in the fridge and that's up without that? What do you think? I could put some- I could- I could bloom some gelatin and throw it in there. I bet it would set up good. Then I'd have to, like, stir it in. But I bet you I could stir it in. Bridging might blast into shape if you just try the fridge. You know what? If it doesn't solidify and become, like, the picture, um, then I know that it needs more of a thickening agent than just eggs and milk. But it's sort of... Like, see how it's, like... There's a surface tension to it. I'm using a knife, so it's like tension to it. It's not completely wet. It's definitely so soft. Partially, it's. Look at this disgusting concoction. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, if you're not setting fully, at worst case, eat it with vanilla ice cream. Yeah, that might be the, the, the plan. We'll just crunch it up and make a Baja Blast Sunday. So thick. This, this is truly the Shrek gum that Atlas said that the original stuff was. This is the thick Shrek gum. <laughs> wow, this is what you come to the stream for, guys. But the, you know what it looks like, honestly? You know what it looks like, unironically? Nickelodeon slime. It looks like the shit they shot on the field at the Super Bowl. Digitally. It looks like Nickelodeon slime. I would drop this on Alanis Morissette's head. That's what it looks like. If Nickelodeon slime was this tasty, I would, I wouldn't have hated it. We used to love Gak. We used to have Gak. I remember Gak. Oh my god. You can still get Gak. They just call it slime now, and it's a whole thing. Like you go online and you're like, "Ooh, we got a slime. Let's make a slime tutorial," and then they put like glitter and little tiny ribbons and stuff on it. Yeah, I've, I've actually stumbled into that rabbit hole before on YouTube of the slimes. People are like, I made a slime. Yeah, Gak is just slime. But it's like an old slime. Back before there was making slime at home. Because I guess you just like use like glue and borax and uh, food coloring. You make like a slime that you can in your hands, pops and oozes. That's it. Okay. Do it all the time. It used to be you had to buy that stuff. Got people just make it. Up. It was probably made from soap, which probably why. It, did you eat it? it? Tasted like soap? Are you? Don't eat that. It's probably not. Probably toxic. And of course, you're, you live. So. Is it going school to buy tons? Yeah, people will buy it. People buy like they take Elmer's glue, and I want to say like a soap activator. And then they put just glitter and colors and some other mess in it. Water. And it turns into slime and you put slime. There's all kinds of slime tutorials on you. What'd you create with Infinite Craft? Thank you for the love. It's not Riffic? I don't know what that is. I have a few first times. I have a few. Because with Infinite Craft, you can have like first. First. Actually, I mean, you have a few, like, discoveries. Um, I had a lot of luck. Okay, first of all, I had a lot of luck with um, webcomic com combinations because a lot of people had done down the gone down the webcomic rabbit hole. So I, not only was I the first person to create Akewood, which that's a pretty good get, in my opinion. A fucking good get. But I also got... Garfield minus Garfield. He's pretty good. <laughs> this is all the stuff that I get. Aquid stuck, because if you combine Aquid with Homestuck, you get Aquid stuck. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I found it first. And then I also got Tails Gets Trolled. I was the first person to find Tails Gets Trolled in Infinite Craft. You gotta, you gotta give me that. You gotta give it up for that. Did you miss McDonald's? Yeah, that was the first thing I did, because it was getting cold. It's gone. I ate it. Hated it. You didn't miss the pie, though. The pie just came out of the oven. Super again. 
hollow plus cold. Hologram. Hollow gram plus Twitter? Not Twitter. Follow Mario. Hey, Kazuna Ayala. This is like, it's like, I thought of a VTuber. I know one VTuber. Oh, I also got Captain Kazuna. Virtual Lolita. Oh, I got Hololive. I got to make Hololive. That's interesting. If I can combine Hololive with stuff, what can I, what can I potentially? Game is too addictive. I'm telling you, don't start playing this. I got Rosemi. You can actually get Rosemi to come out of it. It's just VTuber plus Rose. And oh, and VTuber plus Water gets you Aqua. Also, it feels like the old, like like I tried VTuber plus Bunny and I just got Bunny VTuber. I'm like no. VTuber plus Fairy. You think, but no. Too late. Yeah, it's too late. It's too addictive. I got Waifu. All life Waifu. Awesome. That's a weird. Virtual. Tarzan plus sacrificing. Jane. Oh, that's weird. I did manage to get Lolly. To wow. But like Lolly Waifu. Whoa. But Lolly Sharknado. I mean, I guess you get the Lolly Sharknado. There's a lot of Sharknado in here. A lot of Sharknado. Come on. Yeah! There we go. Finally, some good fucking food. That's the stuff. Alright, now we're getting some. Don't waste my time. You were so close. Oh. What work out? You can't. I'm not in here. I'm not famous enough. RT Game could make himself a. That. It, but. Obviously, it would be better vampire. Better vampire, because I have Spider Queen in here. So in theory, theory, this, that, there. That's as close as you can get. Pretty good. Pretty close. Works. Let's see what happens if you do this. There! Yeah, even better. Now we're getting somewhere, in my opinion. Oh, that would be my perfect. So there's just a gap. Gap here, where I should be. That's pretty close. Big Bang plus webcomic. Webcomic is a fun one. You can get a lot of good stuff from webcomic. So I'm going to bet you that's X case. Doesn't know webcomic it defaults to either XKCD or Webcomics are fun. It's a good one. He likes XKCD. Aqua Teen Hunger Force! Hell yeah, brother! I, it's not a webcomic, but you know what? We take those. Uh, I was trying to get Control Odds Elite so I could get Lost.jpg, but I never managed to get in. Uh, I'm pretty sure video games. Oh, I don't have video games yet. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Figure it out. Yeah, video games. Lost.ping? Yeah. I couldn't. I, I can get Lost.jpg to come out of this thing. I tried. I tried. I did get all the Ninja Turtles. I got a, lot, a bunch of Pokemon. A Slender Man and Slender Man without a space, which apparently is two different things. I don't know. You only combine two things. Yes, you can only combine two things. Never combine more than. Two. I got Cap. I got Thanos. Then I got Captain Thanos, which you can find Captain America and Thanos. And then I got Thanos Hogan. And then I got Cthulhu Hogan, because uh, you can find Thanos and Hulk Hogan. You get Thanos Hogan. And you get Baja Blast. <laughs> See, I don't know. I was we, we got to, we got as far as Taco Bell, and then I got distracted with VTubers again. I got as far as Taco Bell. We got Frito Pie, we got Doritos. Um, wait, where's Taco Bell? It's in here somewhere. Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell. I don't have any sodas at all. So like how are we gonna how are we gonna get soda? We've got water, we've got Hawaii. We've got... 
How are we gonna get soda? Are there bubbles in here? Okay, how about bubbles? Water and bubbles. Water and... I don't know. Gas? I have cancer. Water and cancer. Or it doesn't combine with it. I don't have it. What about rainbow? Water, rainbow. No. Water. And hope. Oh, what happens if I what happens if I combine Hollow Live and a Tyrant? So I finally get Marine. I was trying for a long time and it didn't happen. Go. Mari, that's not right! It's Sude! What's going on? I was did you did you get a jackpot? Did you get a jackpot? And what's your table, Madam? Yeah. Jackpot. No reason. Spider ham? I have I have Spider-Man. This should work. Spider pig. Oh. Doesn't it be spider ham? See, sometimes it's just not what you would expect. Is spider pig also a thing? That's just spider man again. Yeah, spider pig. I thought it was spider ham though. Spider man was John Mulaney. I don't think I have John Mulaney. <laughs> Spider Pig is the Simpsons thing. Oh, so that's right. When Homer puts the pig on the roof and sings Spider Pig. I don't have Homer. I have Banksy Pig. I was the, I was the originator. I discovered Tarzan porn. You can make a lot of porn by just like putting somebody in porn. So you can be like, uh, what else is in porn? Porn. Oh, I also discovered mega porn, which is an advanced type of porn, I suppose. There, I discovered bat porn. Do they have the name Peter Crumb? Is that pig? I don't know. You, you just you just dicks until you find stuff. Until you get things. Wear porn, obviously wear porn. Highly important porn genre, right? Invisible porn. Bat porn. I don't know what that turns into. Bat mega porn. There we go. That's what we're on to. That's what we're up to. What are you doing, Stepro? Visible porn? Yeah, exactly. See now you're now you're thinking. I tried a lot of combinations. You got a, we got a lot going on. If you combine any kind of anime with porn, you just get hentai. And I, I had a whole wear. I have wear pigs, wear ponies, wear unicorns. There's a lot of wear. Erica. I have caps in America. There we go. Adam plus America does get you, Adam Sandler. And then I added to a shark and I got Shark Boy. You probably can do a lot with Adam Sandler, though. That's probably there probably is a lot you can do with Adam Sandler. Let's what what if I just put him in a movie? Money? OK, that's fair, I guess. But I have the devil. Yeah, I have I have I have the devil. Yeah, it worked! Yay! <laughs> it worked exactly what you thought you would expect. I got Satan. No, I got Satan. Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of Adam Sandler now. Yeah, now you're in the Adam Sandler hole. Now you're now you're down in the Adam Sandler hole. Combine Adam Sandler in golf. Combine Adam Sandler in baseball. What? 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 Combine Adam Sandler and Dragon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Shrek! Yay! I don't know why. Why is that Shrek? Wait. How come Adam Sandler and Shrek are adjacent? Like, did Mori Calliope write this? <laughs> I don't know. Donkey. <laughs> Okay. What it, it is what it is. <laughs> we got Shrek. We got Shrek, everybody. 
Now we're now we're in serious business. What happens if I can buy Shrek and Taco Bell? Now it's just Donkey again. I, I'm so glad we got Shrek. What was Shrek? Shrek in America? Trump? You know, it, it's funny the first time you get Trump, and then you get Trump when you combine him with just about anything. It's not funny. Shrek dog. Still donkey. I guess donkey is technically Shrek's dog, so that kind of makes sense. Adam Sandler's a comedian. Eddie Murphy is a comedian. Yeah, I mean, that's it's a stretch, but I get it. So there we go. Now we got Shrek. So what happens, you need to get two Shreks, you combine two Shreks, you get Shrek. But like, what happens if you combine Shrek with a princess, right? Be able to get Fiona, right? Yeah, look at that. Do I have lava? Yeah. I mean, can, we, can we combine Shark Boy and Lava Girl? I think I tried it, it didn't work. But I wouldn't be surprised if it... Yeah, you just get Shark Boy again, for some reason. I don't even know if I can get Lava, like... Oh, there's Lava Girl. Oh, they don't combine, though! You can have Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but you can't have Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. And you can have Snoop Shark. Or Snoop Lion, which is the advanced form of Snoop Dogg, so that kind of makes sense. Do a lot. We can do a lot with Adam Sandler. If Adam Sandler was a beast. I wouldn't do. I don't tell there was a weeb. What if Adam Sandler, the real boy, then he would he rob Schneider? <laughs> Look at the poop emoji. Why is it the poop emoji? <laughs> There, I got grown up. So combining Rob Schneider and Rob Schneider and Adam Sandler. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of that South Park bit. Rob Schneider is a poop emoji in the new movie Poop Emoji Rob. I overloaded it. <laughs> what if Snoop Dogg was also Shrek? Oh, shrek -ian. Okay. This game is too freaking annoying. It's too addictive. I have to stop playing it, or else I'm never going to do anything with the rest of my life. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous confection. Honestly, as it sits out, it's firming up a little bit. So I'm going to put it in the fridge. I'm going to put it in the fridge and figure out what the hell to do with it. It's probably still going to be running in the middle, but I bet you it'll be edible. And when I do a cross section, I'll put it on my Discord and other things, and we'll take some pictures of it. And it's going to be. It actually it doesn't taste bad. Like I took I licked the knife that I dropped in there and it kind of tastes good. Um, I don't think it's going to be impossible to eat this. I think it's it's going to be eaten slowly over the course of several days. Um, the cum knife. Yeah, the Shrek, the Shrek cum knife. We've all had a lot of fun talking about Shrek's cum today, but <laughs> thank you for joining the stream. Oh, Lordy. I can't play Infinite Crafts. I, I lose hours of my life to it, but it's too funny. It's too fun. No, this is fun. This was actually fun. This was a fun, good, smart, cool thing to do. I had a good time making it. I'll post more photos. Uh, no stream tomorrow. Next stream's Thursday. We're going to be gaming. And then I always take Fridays off, but then we're going to game again on Saturday. Looking forward to an actual taste test. I'm warning you, it's pretty good. It's like a sweeter key lime. But I just, I just, I don't want the actual texture of it. Oh, it's so much thicker than it was a second ago. This is going to set up. But look at the, look how thick the, it's nasty. What do you think? We're going to call it. And I'm going to do a real taste test tomorrow because obviously I cannot cut into this. I could not do a cross section of this because gonna run everywhere if I do. It's gotta set up in the fridge overnight. Oh, loud. EGM loud. If you give it to a caveman, they'll die. They would. They would absolutely die. If you showed this to a small Victorian child, they'd be like, 
that's not food. How could you possibly put that in your body? And then I would eat it and be like, hmm? It's Baja Blast. Right into my guts. I think it's gonna be great. It's just, I just, I cannot eat it right now because it's too liquefied in the middle. I'll post pictures. I'll post pictures to my Discord. Hopped into your stream, your twin buns hairstyle. Thank you! Oh my gosh, welcome. Thank you. I'm about to leave, I'm about to quit for the day. Uh, you got me at the very end. But next stream is gonna be on Thursday. Um, I'm excited to um, play a game that I've never played before. It's the mobile games you want those games game. It's gonna be wacky, it's gonna be fun. I normally do speed runs and challenges on Thursday, but sometimes I like can't because my fingers hurt. Yeah, I wanna play it, it looks really fun. So this week is gonna be like another casual stream on Thursday. And then Saturday, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. I'm going to go as long as I can stand it. We'll have fun with it. Let's see if this raid works. It does. Okay, great. Uh, sometimes they, sometimes if somebody's like a bigger streamer, they don't allow raids. But it is very fun. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you for watching me cook this monstrosity. If you haven't joined the Discord and you want to see final results, join the Discord, or I will show the final pie on the next stream. I, on Thursday, I will show a piece of the pie. And then we'll clip together a little highlight reel of this disastrous Taco Bell mess, including the videos I shot at Taco Bell when I got the Baja Blast, because it was funnier to get it from Taco Bell than the grocery store. Oh, I forgot to say, you know what happened when I told the lady that I was making a pie with it? The first time I said, she said, that's the second time I've heard that. Somebody else out there made this pie. Somebody else made this. She said, that's the second time I've heard that. What? There's another crazy person? That's insane. There's two of us. We're everywhere. Okay, folks. Raid's about to happen. Thank you for the raids earlier. Thank you for the uh, all the catch up there, everybody. Uh, catch you next time. Um, and my thing didn't lose. I'm so good at video game, video game music. All right, about to end. Bye, 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 bye. We're just making a different pie for pie day. We're making a different green pie for pie day. Just, we'll just continue to make pies. What I do, I like to make pies. Thing, gimmick I have. We got we got stuff for a proper lime pie. Already, I'm ready to go. We actually got. This is the Baja Blast pie. Wait, let's, let's get to it. Look, there it is. Oh, I got my I got my robe on. Oh, world's greatest streamer. I forgot to like pick up half the stuff. It's so low. I forgot to pick up like. Stuff I need in the kitchen. Oh, and we're listening to Star Realm music in the background. Right? Kind of epic though, so I think I'm gonna keep epic, 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 epic music. Epic, 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 epic pie cutting music. This is it, guys. Oh, I keep popping out in and out of existence. This is the. I'm disgusted but curious. That's food coloring. The actual Baja Blast was this color. But it didn't retain the color after I cut it, so... What I don't like about this, and you can see it on the camera even more than you can see it... <laughs> it is that it, like, kind of has, like, two tones. And that's because, like, there's lime zest in it. So it kind of, like, created this, like, kind of eye-dye effect I don't love. But yeah, it did actually firm up. I did not add any more, um, like, agents to it. Ugh. Hang on. Ugh. Okay. I didn't- I was looking for the knife. I didn't add, like, any more thickener to it. This is the final result of making a pie with Baja Blast. And it's cutting. It's actually staying in one piece, y'all. It's actually staying in one piece and it's cutting, like, like an actual pie. So it was in the fridge overnight and it's set up 
Is it a little bit runnier than like a regular key lime? Yeah, I think it's a little bit runnier. But is it not completely? I think it's, com yeah. We're gonna taste test it right now, right here. I have not tasted the final result as you can see. So, um, it's still really slimy inside, like paint. And I think if I were to make this again, I would add cornstarch or some other thickening agent to ensure that it came together. I always have a hard time with the first slice of pie. I feel like it doesn't, okay, how many move my, my booba mouse pad out of the way? Make sure that I get a piece of the actual pie crust. Cause we're gonna have to do a, we're gonna have to do like a side. Yeah, it's definitely very runny and moist. <laughs> I said I was gonna do it. I did it. I am gonna make a proper key lime pie later for pie day. We already got the stuff for it. Just to like wash off the the gamer scent of this one. Oh, this is such a hard I'm sorry, this is such a hard angle to cut this from too. Because I'm like, oh my god, look how look how thick it is. It's so so thick. It's the Extremely Shrek. Oh my god, my, my model is like janking out because I'm covering the camera. Oh my god, it's falling apart, y'all! Okay, okay. This is not this is not gonna be a beautiful cross section. Oh, I fucked up cutting it. Look at that. Oh, I tried. I tried. I have such a bad angle on actually cutting this. Yeah, it's not it's not comp I have such a bad angle on cutting this, so I'm like doing this like over my own shoulder, like trying to cut a pie piece. And the first pie piece is always like both stubborn too. <laughs> oh my god, my model like sucks. Hang on, I'm just turning this off. Making me nuts. At least until I'm not covering the camera anymore. You have a question. Will it blend? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it'll definitely blend. Um. Oh god. Well, maybe the second piece will be less disgusting than the- you know what? The second piece will not be less disgusting though. The second piece might come together like a piece of pie, which the first piece didn't do. It's because I just didn't get the crust kind of. It's, it's not very solid. <laughs> it's a, it is a pudding. God, this is a disaster actually, but that's okay because we take those. We take the failures along with the successes. No, 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 it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, but it does not look like the picture. I'm gonna try and cut. This looks good though. Uh, it's gonna taste delicious, but it looks disgusting. Um, okay, so the problem I'm having, honestly, is that it's like, maybe these pre-made graham cracker crusts are just not supposed to go in the oven because it like is really stuck to the, it's really stuck to the bottom of the pan. So it's really hard to like cut a real piece out of it. That and I think the food coloring just kind of didn't completely blend in because I feel like there's like polka dot. Yeah, it does. It definitely has a very Halloween vibe. I'm trying to get like a piece of pie out of this thing as opposed to just like a pile of green pudding with some graham crackers in it, which will be tasty, but is not a piece of pie. Okay. All right, well, that's enough messing around. So here's the here's the rest of it, right? We'll figure this out later. I'm gonna try to take a photo uh, of it, but like it kind of collapsed. <laughs> you miss popping the cherry on this come. Uh, you know what, it didn't quite set up. Here, I'm gonna show you the inside. Here's the, here's the inside. If it wasn't for the fact that the Food coloring seems to have separated a little bit. I don't know why. The inside has a really nice creamy texture. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when Ninja Turtles did, um, uh, what was, uh, like, uh, Hostess Fruit Pies. And the Hostess Fruit Pies had this, like, green shit in it. This is what it looks like. It looks like Ninja Turtles hosted fruit pie. Oh. 
awesome. We're gonna, there we go. <laughs> like, just like the picture, right guys? Now it looks just like the picture. <sighs> I'm gonna try to take the most Instagram worthy possible. Like, look at what I made. I made a beautiful toe to tip. That's a Bart, just like Bart. Yeah, it's just exactly, it's exactly like the picture, right? It's just like the Taco Bell pie picture. Okay, now I'm gonna eat this. Oh, it's so collapsed. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna go in my mouth. Oh, let me get like a get like a forkful for the camera here. Look at that. Delicious. It's really good. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> you might think I'm I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. It's delicious. So that is a key lime pie, but sweeter. Obviously. Which contributes to the fact that the actual soda is mostly lime flavor. Um, there was some real lime juice put in at the end because I didn't think it was going to set up unless I used some more acid. I have to go craft this now to confirm or deny the allegations. If you do make this, put gelatin or cornstarch in it to thicken it up because it's not thick enough. And that's because there's not enough acid in the Baja Blast to like fully solidify. So I would change the recipe slightly. I would add a little bit more thickener because look how runny it still turned out. Though it did set up. Oh, and by the way, we also have a double shot of tequila because like heck, I was taking this one sober, man. Good combo, good flavor profile combo. <clears throat> I'll clean it right out of your system. <laughs> Just kidding. Twitch, it's water. I have a double shot of water. That I'm hydrating with. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to drink tequila. It helps. It helps it go down. We have, we have noticed that we had a full bottle. So H two O. Yeah, H two H two. It's H two for hydrating. Um. Yeah. So the problem is it just doesn't set up. But the the consistency of this. Oh my god! I got on the desk. Gross. And now it just looks like somebody... Hmm. I don't want to talk about what that looks like. It looks like Nickelodeon gacked all over my desk. I'm eating it. I'm for real eating it. Nickelodeon gack. Shrek? Someone? You mean Shrek? I do mean Shrek. We have Shrek, we have Shrek here in this house. Mmm, Shrek come. Nasty! Actually, it was tasty. I would not make this again. I would just make a regular key lime pie. <laughs> what? The fact that I speared it? The smudgy? Yeah. That's pretty nasty, huh? It's the color. The color is just way too neon. I would I would make a regular key lime pie. <laughs> it's it, it's much more um reliable, right? And less prone to turning into ooze. And the color is insane. But 
it's not the worst thing I've ever, it's pretty good. Actually tasty, it's actually tasty. Like if they had these at Taco Bell and they were like made and set up, I would totally get one. And I'm gonna take a picture of it later and try to make it look not disgusting. The problem is just that it's too runny. Like the way that it came, it did not really, it did not really set up even overnight. But it set up more than it seemed like, like it seemed like it was really liquidy. The top is set up. So it's like, well, oh, touch the, touch, touch the touchy the pie. It's like a solid piece on top. Solid on top. See, that's nice, slick surface. It's just that from the inside, it's like kind of oozy. But I bet you I could still like cut a piece that looked halfway decent for the gram. I'd be like, yeah, guys, I did it. I made the pie. But you're seeing the you're seeing the truth. They're seeing the true results. It's very runny. Me, I'm a pie professional. Kind of worked though. It just needs a little more thickener, some kind of leavener, need to make it thick. I'll get the entire pie right out of the pie tin. That could be good for me, right? No, I'm going to put it back in the fridge. So it continues to firm up. When I'm going to make a proper lime pie, once this one is dead, probably on time for pie day. Okay, so there you have it. The color is spot on. The flavor is pretty good. It's like a sweeter lime. The texture... Not so god so good, a little gloopy. No, oh, I'm still gonna eat some of it. I think if you're gonna do this at home, either add some cornstarch to this, or you're probably just like better off making a regular key lime pie. But you know what? Sometimes you do an experiment, sometimes it turns out mm, okay, maybe a six out of ten.